this is going to be a huge cake y'all <laughs> i'm just telling you now just be prepared and this is a semi homemade cake because we're using the box mix but we're gonna go ahead and jazz it up and i got some pans right here that i picked up from the dollar store because we're gonna make this into a layer cake and in between each layer is gonna be some surprises and make sure you guys watch to the end so that way you can see what the surprise is and how we're gonna do it here we have some lemon supreme frosting and then this is some whipped cream cheese but we're gonna make this whipped cream cheese into something magical so it's gonna be real fun y'all because we got two different types of cake mixes you're gonna need two separate bowls so you can make each one in a separate bowl and just follow the back of the box you know hopefully by now y'all know how to make a box cake so we're gonna go ahead and make the strawberry cake filling first nothing too complicated Fresh carton of eggs right here. Make sure you don't get the shells in there. This is our first time making this strawberry lemonade cake. So hopefully the way I'm thinking about it in my head, it comes out good. And then we need one cup of water. So I really want us to get to baking more on this channel. You know, although we're doing the box cake today, there's nothing wrong with doing the box cake because there's so many different ways to jazz it up. So don't feel pressured if you don't know how to make a cake from scratch. You know, it's just all about the imagination and effort you put into it. And then while you're mixing this up, go ahead and preheat your oven. Put it on 350. But strawberry cake mix tastes so good. And if you love lemonade and anything lemon, like lemon pound cake, lemon cake, y'all know this is going to be a banger, a hit. And everybody is going to love it. And it just has those pretty colors. Good for the springtime. The kids can even make this if they wanted to. Now I'm doing it the old fashioned way with my whisk. If you got your KitchenAid or your hand mixer. Do what's best for you. I got the little helper right here. Go ahead and mix it up Kate. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that little arm. She and can, that little hand trying to reach up on the counter. She can barely even reach the counter. But she trying to. <laughs> She's going to make it her duty. So total, this is going to be a four layer cake, y'all. Okay? Are y'all ready? Get ready if you're not. So we're going to do four layers because one box of cake mix, we can make two layers. So that's going to be four layers of cake because we got two different boxes of cake mix. Y'all following yet? All right. So now what we're going to do is just put some oil in our cake pan because I know y'all don't want your cake to stick. Okay? You know, roll that up. Some people put flour in the bottom of theirs, you know, and that will help the cake batter to not stick to. So go ahead and comment down below what method do you use for your cake batter to not stick in your pan. And make sure you evenly put your cake batter in your pan. That's one thing you don't want to do is fill your cake pan all the way up because y'all going to have a hot mess if you do. Okay, your cake batter going to be overflowing and running all over the place. So just do half and half first. And then if you need to go back and divide it up a little bit more, then do that. Now, when you're making these type of layer cakes that involves jello or pudding, y'all got to make sure you make this ahead of time because it has to sit in the refrigerator to get nice and firm. Because when we put this in between the layers, you don't want this to be oozing all over the place. So make sure you do this either first or while your cake is in the oven. So that way it got time to come together. <laughs> I was going to make some banana pudding, but I was like, no, I don't want to have to use the box pudding. I'm always using the box pudding and I want to make it from scratch. So the next time I come on here with some banana pudding, we're going to make the homemade pudding wet. And we love ours with a lot of cookies. So stay tuned for that one. But we do have a banana pudding milkshake that is just as bomb. Trust me, y'all. You would not miss the real banana pudding because that milkshake is everything. And let's cover this up. Put it in the refrigerator. And then remember that we're not going to use this right away because as our cakes come out the oven, we still got to let it cool. So this is going to have plenty enough time to sit in the refrigerator and come together. We're going to go in with the lemon. Ooh. Who else just opened up the bag and then the cake batter just go all over the place. I'm not the only messy one out there. 
you know by the time you finish making your cake you're gonna have so much cake batter and cake flour all over the top of you look you gonna end up being the cake versus the cake in the bowl and that's another reason why if you bake a lot you got to keep eggs on hand because just these two cakes alone took up six eggs yeah that's a lot that's a whole half a carton right there and the eggs is what's making it moist that's why it's calling for three versus one here's our one cup of milk now i gotta give me another measuring cup a smaller one because the only thing i don't like about this measuring cup it doesn't give me the exact amount for the one third cup so I always have to like eyeball it and estimate it. But so far my judgment has been right. But when the kids are in the kitchen, you know, I don't want them to have to be struggling. You know, I want them to have the exact measurements when they in here baking. This cake is looking amazing already. Now, when you first take your cakes out the oven, sit it on the cooling rack. Do not ice in this cake while it's still hot. So hopefully you guys do know that. But because I oiled this pan, this cake should come right on out. And you can still see it steaming. If your cake get a little bit stuck on the pan, just rub your knife around it. But don't force it out. A little piece of this one came off, but that's perfectly fine. Don't trip because it's going to be a layered cake. It's okay if it's not perfect. So do not have a panic attack, y'all, okay? Because we're going to cover this part anyway. And then all you got to do, really, is just do a little surgery on it. Let me show you how to do this, okay? Just put that right back on top. Bam. Don't even know it's there. We gonna go ahead and start cutting the strawberries up. Now I bought two packs of strawberries because this is one of them dishes where you gotta hide and sneak and do without the kids because they gonna eat up all the strawberries before you can even get a chance to do the cake or garnish it or you know how it's supposed to be. But first what you wanna do is just go through the strawberries and pick out the ones that you wanna use for the top of your cake because we wanna put the strawberries on the outside of it and then the rest of them we just gonna slice them up as normal because they're gonna go in between the layers of the cake now is it me or in your area is strawberries getting more expensive too today they was on sale for three for ten dollars but the last time i was in the store they were 7.99 and then normally they are 4.99 so because of the pandemic i'm noticing that these strawberries are really getting more expensive don't make them too small because you want to be able to see them in the layers, you know, when you slice the cake. Got the strawberries cut up and we're going to add the special surprise once we start putting the cake together. So we're going to go ahead and move on to one of the funnest parts of this video, I would say, and that's to dye 
the icing. Now you can't have this strawberry lemonade cake without the pink icing. We got the lemon, which is the yellow icing, and we're going to make this match. We love the flavor of the whipped cream cheese better than, you know, just the regular buttercream icing because one is not as sweet and then the texture is a lot better. You know, that buttercream icing can just be overly sweet. So if you the same way, try the whipped icing. It's so much better. You know, this is the icing that you use with your red velvet cake. Now, I was so mad because I went into the local grocery store and picked this one up and spent about $4 for this. And then I went into the dollar store and bought another one for a dollar. I should have went into the dollar store first, but the last time I went in there, they didn't have any. Now, to get your pink, if you never used food coloring before, this is the red. We're just going to go in with just a drop. You know, you start off small because the less red you got, what color does that make? pink Mom. you know if you put more in it then it's going to turn red but we don't want the red we just want it to look pink so just add about two to three drops of red and you're going to get this pink color right here but you see this already and that's what you want and this is the same food coloring you know that you use to dye your eggs like i say this is for the easter video or to dye your eggs for your easter baskets is anyone doing that this year you know with the pandemic your routine may not be the same this year but you know if you have something at the house yourself for your grandkids or your own kids go ahead and comment down below and let me know what's your tradition and that is exactly what you want it doesn't have to be any darker than this but don't that look cute yes now, if you ever bought these pans from the dollar store, you know, these are the ones that you can put the top on it and use as freezer meals. We use these all the time. So what I'm going to do is just put the cake on top of here so we can show you how to lay this bad boy yet. And I'm going to go in with this lemon one first because this one was the bigger one of all of them. And it kind of broke up a little bit. So to minimize that and to make sure... That is no problems when you cut it. We just gonna put it on the bottom. Now I told you we had a surprise for the strawberries. We're gonna add some of this strawberry jam in it. That's right, because when you have strawberry shortcake, you know that icing that goes on top of it with the whipped cream. I was thinking about that concept. So hopefully this comes out the way it should. But just go ahead and drizzle some of that strawberry jelly on top. And then we just gonna stir that around. You don't have to add too much. So don't worry about if it's not enough jelly. Because once you put it on top of your cake, if you just want to add, you know, a little bit extra layer on top, then do that. Make it your own. I'm just showing you how to do it and you can just do it your way. Now, when you cut that cake, you want the strawberries to be looking nice and glistening and glazed. That's why we're adding the jelly. Not to make it sweet, but to add that glazed look on it. Now we're going to go ahead and take out that pudding that we made. Now you see how thick this pudding is? This is exactly what you want because you don't want your pudding to be any looser than that because when you put it on your cake, we're going to put it in the center and we want it to stay in place. Don't move. And then one last secret that we're going to put in between our layers is this lemon curd. That's right. We're going over the top with our strawberry lemonade cake because we wanna make sure we taste all of the flavor of the lemon and the strawberries throughout this cake. Now, let me show you what this lemon curd looks like for those of you who've never heard of it before. It's a kind of like jelly and it's loose. I don't know why I thought it was like a real jelly. This is just that concentrated lemon in the bottle. And it just makes sure that flavor pops in your lemon bars or any other type of lemon dessert you got. All right, so let's go ahead and layer this cake up. So first, I'm thinking we can go in with the lemon curd. Not too much because it is sweet. And just make sure you spread it all around, but make sure you got enough. So that way when you spread it, it covers the whole bottom of the cake. And that's why I said don't worry about if you got cracks in the cake because once we put the layers down, it's not even really gonna matter. Now the pudding, I'm not going to put it all the way to the end of the cake because, you know, the more that you put on top, <laughs> it's just going to start oozing out. And we don't want it to be oozing out. We just want it to stay right in the center. And then 
then make sure you spread it evenly because you don't want to have more pudding over there and then not enough pudding over there. So make sure you got enough. All right, so then you're going to add your strawberries. But you see how that strawberry looks nice and glistening? And again, put it in the middle. And you don't need a lot, just enough to cover the center because we're going to have four layers of these same ingredients. So just be mindful of how much you are using. What made you want to make a cake? Give me something sweet. Here you go, the strawberry cake. This is going to be a huge cake, y'all. <laughs> I'm just telling you now, just be prepared. So we're going to go on with the same routine. But this look good already, don't it, y'all? I'm coming with the pudding. Now, I can see it's starting to ooze on the bottom some. So, I'm not going to go in with too much on this side. Because we still got to put the icing on the outside of the cake, y'all. Because we're not done yet. Can I help? Yeah. That strawberry jelly did make it a little bit more liquidy at the bottom so try to drain some of that off before you put it on top of the cake too so just keep it going y'all right now we on the second layer now we're about to go in with the next one which is the lemon and just keep stacking it this is one of them bakery style cakes the ones that you see this real tall I didn't expect it for it to be this big, but hey, what can we do now, right? Look, y'all know when y'all picture something in your head, but then when you start to make it, it's like, oh my God, I didn't expect for it to be like this. This is one of those type of things. And I didn't expect it to be this big, but it's already here now. We just got to keep going with it. Cake and cake. Yes. All right. Mom. I know. Oh, please don't fall. You know what? Let me get a toothpick. No, that's gonna make it break. Just right here. Let's stick a toothpick right here so that way the little soft points it won't break apart. So I'm just gonna stick a toothpick. Mom, I want to help you get the toothpick. Just to make sure it's anchored because this cake is a lot. Okay, so let's go ahead and decorate this cake. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. All right, so we just made a big old bowl of the pink icing, and we just added another container of icing and food coloring so that way we can go ahead and ice in this cake just gonna take the spatula and just come in with the pink and just glide it around Comment down below if you're a baker or like to decorate cakes on the regular. You know, give us some tips of how we could have done this better.
my goodness this cake looks amazing our strawberry lemonade four layer cake with many 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 surprises inside i can't really turn around all the way for y'all because honestly i don't know how i'm gonna get this cake off this counter i got a cake stand but i need one of them trifle glasses so i can put this big bad boy in but this needs to go in the refrigerator i hope y'all seen how i did those lemon slices for the lemon garnishments that was a really nice touch and then the icing on top is going to hold the strawberries in there but i cannot wait to cut this cake open i hope you guys enjoy this video because it was stressful okay now you see why we don't bake as much but we did a good job did we not any like we had planned on doing a marble effect for the icing, but I put the wrong tip on it. Y'all, it's, it's a struggle, okay? But we're going to go ahead and show y'all the picture of how this cake turned out. I'm going to let it sit in the refrigerator for a second, and then we're going to cut into it. next time enjoy your easter sunday dinner and you can make this cake whenever remember the summertime is coming up and y'all be good to go see y'all later bye bye everybody